Hello and welcome. Today we've got something up there for you. So sit down, take a look. Hello and welcome to another Ask Have Anything, episode 27. 27 of these without the specials. It's pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty interesting. I don't know if you guys can notice or not, but uh, well, maybe not in the light here because of the bright camera light on me. But I, I've gotten a, a pretty bad sunburn here and um, I want to make a public, uh, public service announcement here. To all you little gingers out there, all you little gingers just like me, do not go out in the sun without adequate sunblock. And that's the same to anybody. Anybody who's fair complexion. Heed the warning from Decompose. The sun, not your friend. No. So, uh, yeah, just wanted to throw that in there. Um, ask him anything, episode 27. Sit down, stick around, and as always, enjoy. <laughs> All right, so we're going to start the uh, questions here. As you can see, there aren't that many questions on this page, but um, they might, um, you know, I think I'm going to be long-winded on some of these, so therefore I didn't take too many questions. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, so before I even continue... I mean, I, I, I gotta keep doing this, I guess, in all my videos, uh, just, just for fun. If you're not following me yet on Twitter, what are you doing, man? All the exclusive decomposed stuff, the exclusive pics, the soon-to-be exclusive videos that are actually going to be up there, too. I mean, come on, guys. Come on. It's summertime. Decomposed is on the road all the time. OTR. You get to watch some of that stuff. You get to watch some pictures and stuff. You get to see stuff on Twitter or hear some of my ramblings that you won't hear anywhere else. So go to www.twitter.com slash anything and uh, follow me. Please, please follow me. Um. <laughs> oh, God, that was horrible. Um, so let's start with the first question here. It's from Elijah Jones, and he says, What do you think about the movie Super 8? I'd love to know your opinion. Super 8. When you first saw the trailers to Super 8, I think I've already said this before, and I kind of feel the same way even after seeing the movie. It kind of looked like E.T. meets Cloverfield. And, and it would have been a good description, too, because, I mean, in the end, if you think about it, we've got Abrahams and Spielberg, so it is actually E.T. and Cloverfield. Um, what did I think about the movie? I enjoyed the movie. It was good. I don't think it was as good as it's been rated online. If you go like to IMDb or Rotten Tomatoes, it's actually got a pretty huge rating. Like I know IMDb is something like an 8. and I, I wouldn't give it an 8. Um, it's a good movie. It's okay, I guess. But it's kind of, it's kind of long in some places. It drags a little bit. But it's not a bad movie. You know, the kids kind of, you know, like, like helping hit out the monster and making the peace and all that. Or the alien, I should say. And that's kind of like, I don't know. It kind of reminded me of E.T. Goonies and, um, and uh, Cloverfield at the same time. So, the movie was okay, I guess. It's not a bad movie. It's a good movie. I don't think it's as good as some people have, have you know, have said it was. Uh, not in my opinion, anyway. But that's just me. Maybe you'll love it to death. Who knows? We're all different, right? Different strokes for different folks. But I did enjoy the movie. It wasn't quite exactly what I thought it would be. Actually, it's pretty much exactly what I thought it would be. I just thought it'd be a little better than what it was. It's a little slow in some places. So, next question here is from Keltrick. And actually, he has a few questions. So, I'm just going to go through these because... His first question is a question that I've been asked so many times during the last few weeks, ever since the teaser trailer, uh, the, sorry, not the teaser trailer, either way, the bootleg teaser trailer, the, the one that leaked out, the cam job of it, uh, came out, 
And it's, uh, what are your thoughts on uh, the Amazing Spider-Man trailer? And I've been asked this question so many times. And I didn't want to judge it off of the actual uh, bootleg copy. I wanted to see the real deal. Because I find it was, you know, pretty dark. You didn't see much. So, um... I remember when we when the switch was done and Sam Raimi was out and we had lost a chance of getting John Malkovich uh, playing the Vulture and all that. I was kind of pissed off about it, I remember, and thinking about a reboot again already so soon. And I was like, yeah, whatever, you know, I, I wasn't really enthused about it. But I, I gotta say that the trailer really isn't that bad. It actually looks pretty good. They've dabbled in a lot of stuff in the trailer that not only does the first movie not really dabble in, but, you know, stuff that we haven't seen in a long time in comics. So, it's kind of neat. I, I kind of I consider the trailer to be, like, the amazing death fest. And the reason why I say that is because there's a shitload of people in that trailer that are dead. Right now in the Spider-Man comics. So, it's, it's kind of like, it's a big death fest. You know, you got Captain Stacy, you got Gwen, Peter's parents, Uncle Ben, um... It's crazy. It's like a death fest. Uh, so there's like five people there that are dead in that trailer uh, that are uh, in the movie. So that's kind of that's kind of neat, I guess. Neat in the sense that we're gonna get to see some characters that we haven't really touched too much on um, in the other Spider-Man movies. So I guess the costume, though, I'm still not a big fan of it. I guess they took some liberties with it to make it look well, kind of. Sort of, kind of looks like the House of M costume, um, mixed in with the original costume, I guess. I find when he's like flying into the window in in a trailer in the building, his face, the mask, the eyes, it kind of looks like the Spider-Man from the uh, from the from from the seventies uh, TV show. So I don't know. I don't know how that'll work out, but the trailer definitely gave me some hope. Now I'm not gonna be one of those Spider-Man. Uh, die hard nuts that's gonna rip it to shreds because ah they changed the costume rah he's getting bit in the fucking neck instead of getting bit in the hand by the spider I'm not gonna shit on it for that um it's a fucking movie you gotta take some liberties so again we'll see what happens you know when we see more trailers we actually see the lizard although some people claim to have seen the footage of the lizard and say it looks kinda like a killer croc we'll see I'll see when I see it but overall, it actually looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than I thought it would. So, I'm optimistic now. Alright. He actually asks other questions, Celtics. I'm going to go through those too. Because, again, another one of these questions is uh, your thoughts on the Dark Knight Rises teaser trailer, which is another question I get a lot of. My thoughts on the teaser trailer of the Dark Knight. I know it's a teaser. I'm fine with that. We'll wait till we see the full length uh, trailer of it, but it's kind of weak. There's not much going on in there. You get Commissioner Gordon in the hospital, uh, flashbacks or scenes of the original ones, which I don't need to see again. I know what happened. And uh, two quick flashes of Bane. Um, so, there's not really much going on there. I mean, it hasn't shown me anything that I didn't know. I guess is what I'm trying to say. Or that I didn't know what's going to happen in the in the, in the movie. It's just basically introducing, kind of showing Bane and Commissioner Gore talking. You know, Batman's not doing the Batman deal right now. Um, that's pretty much it. There's not much to it. It's, it's definitely a teaser. There's really not much to it. So did I like it? Yeah, whatever. It's neat. I mean, uh, Bane looks a little odd. <laughs> he did look odd in the other movie too. But, um, I don't know. We'll have to see when we see him on the big screen. It looks big, though. At least there's that. I don't know if I'm with the whole face mask thing. But, I get, you know, but you, you gotta make him look like it would be realistic, not comic book light. I guess the luchador wrestling mask on him, you know, might not work. Oh, well. We'll see what happens. Next question is from... The Amazing X-Men 250. In your opinion, which group of X-Men is the best? The original with the leader being Cyclops, or the newer with Wolverine as a leader? Thanks, and keep those ass and cast Kevin. 
videos, they're the best. Well, thank you, the amazing X-Men 250. Um, what do I think about the teams? I enjoyed uh, better Cyclops as a leader, because I think Cyclops is more of a leader. I'm not big on Wolverine being a leader. I know this is being pushed a lot, like in the Wolverine animated series, and um, now in X-Men. I'm not a big fan of Wolverine being the leader, because I see Wolverine kind of like as the anti-hero, kind of as their loose cannon, the renegade, and I don't think renegades, uh, the renegades should be running the X-Men, I guess. So I, I'm not I'm not in agreement with Wolverine being the leader of the group. Uh, I know Cyclops can be dull, but hey, I mean, it's Cyclops. He's led this group from the beginning. So, I would think Cyclops made the better leader than Wolverine. Wolverine's more of a hobo than anything else. Uh, next question. Hey, Kev. It's from, a uh, sorry, it's from Ivanova95. He writes, hey, Kev, I've been a long-time viewer of your videos, and I think you kick ass. Thank you. Thank you. Hope Mark Miller doesn't sue you for using kick ass. Uh, I watched I watched your favorite movie of all time, Jaws, for the first time recently, and naturally I thought it was awesome. That is good to hear. Anybody out there who hasn't watched Jaws yet, watch it. What are you waiting for? It's the greatest movie of all time. At least it's my greatest movie of all time. My favorite. Love Jaws. I was wondering what other horror movies are like Jaws. And do you have any recommendations? Keep up the good work, and it'll be cool to see this in a NASCAR of anything. But if you, but if not, you still rock. Later, you're always faithful viewer, Evan. Well, dude, what movies are like Jaws? No other movies like Jaws. That's what makes it so awesome. It's Jaws. Um, what? I mean, I guess if you go to my, uh, well, what are movies? What other movies, including Sharks, are awesome, you ask? Why, Great White Life, starring me. Uh, <laughs> if you want to see some cool shark movies, if that's what you're kind of looking for, go to, uh, you can actually go to www.greatwhitelife.com, which is my movie site, and uh, there's actually some recommendations there for other shark movies. Jaws 2 was awesome. I enjoyed Jaws 2. I still do to this day. That was good. Um, even Deep Blue Sea was, was kind of cool. Cheesy, but cool. Um, trying to think here. Other Jaws-type movies. I remember when uh, Jurassic Park first came out, and one of my friends wanted to go see it. He wanted to sell me on it. He's like, it's Spielberg. I'm like, yeah, Spielberg's awesome. He did do Jaws. And he said, Kevin, they said that it was like Jaws on land. And I was like, sold. That's all I needed. Jaws on land, sold. I'm there. I'm watching it. The same guy, actually... <laughs> He went to sell me, I'm going to go see Harry Potter now. I'm not a Harry Potter fan. I've seen the first one. I hadn't seen the second one. The third one's coming out. Is it called it a fire? I think it was. I can't remember. But I'll, there's too many of these things. And uh, to convince me to go see it, because I really don't want to see it, he said, Kevin, there's a guy there who has a shark face. I'm like, fuck yeah, shark face? I'm there! So I went to go see it just for that. So I'm a sucker for sharks. So yeah, go see my uh, Great White Life site and you'll probably see some other movies there. Um, but uh, Jurassic Park is Jaws on Land. I'm sure you've already seen that. I think the whole world's seen that movie. Uh, actually, another horror movie that's kind of like Jaws. It's not really a horror movie. That's kind of horror suspense. It's actually Spielberg's first movie. It's Duel. Um... Very suspenseful. If you want to watch a movie that's suspenseful like Jaws, from Spielberg as well, and he actually lends the some of the some of the sounds from the movie Duel and Jaws. I watch Duel. Alright, last question here. From Andrew. And he writes, Hi, I would like to say that I love your Spider-Man 101 videos. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I have a question for you. Have you made an Annie Venom video? Thanks for replying whenever you get the chance. Annie Venom. Fuck, I hear about this guy like every week. Um, have I made any videos about Annie Venom? Not really. I mean, he's been mentioned in some videos. Not a video exclusively on him, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I'm not a big fan of the character. Um, I, some people love him. Fine, that's cool. I'm just not a big fan of the character. Because to me, Eddie Brock is Venom. And I've mentioned this numerous amount of times before. 
to me, Venom is Eddie Brock. It's not any Venom. So, I don't like the fact that they said, well, let's get the symbiote off of him, off of Brock, put it on Gargan, and now let's put it on Flash Thompson. And, you know, just to give these characters more depth, so we have a Venom. But then, hey, let's get an anti-venom here because people still like Brock, so we can have two characters running around and write more stories. Um, I'm not all about that. I'm not about writing more quantity of stories. It's the quality. And the quality still lies in having Eddie Brock as Venom, which eventually will probably happen. You know, if Marvel's smart, they're going to make it happen. Maybe they're waiting for a Venom movie. Maybe they're waiting for Spider-Man, the new Spider-Man reboot, to have Venom in it. I don't know. I think they've waited long enough. Um, another thing I should put the Spider-Man movie, I mentioned this in the beginning about the movie, what did I think about the trailer. I love the name. Amazing Spider-Man, beautiful. When the first movie first came out, like the original Spider-Man, the Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, I remember saying, why didn't they name that fucking movie Amazing Spider-Man? That was one of my biggest pet peeves in the beginning. So it's cool that they've corrected that pet peeve. Now you want to get even cooler, the next movie, spectacular. The next movie, web of. Next movie, sensational. Go with it. It's beautiful. If you do it that way, it's going to be awesome. Um, that's it for my questions, man. My page is done. Done! So, um, remember, gingers, wear your sunblock. Don't end up like Kevin. All burnt. I fucking look like Clawful horrible um what else yeah follow me on twitter twitter.com slash ask him anything uh what else subscribe to my videos yeah I'll do that too watch my documentary movie great white life there is a screener copy floating around the internet that you may be able to find torrent <laughs> Torrent! And, um, yeah, I think that's it. So, uh, until next time, guys, take care. Thanks for watching. Um, we're closing in on 10,000 subscribers. When that happens, I'm going to give you guys a special treat video that you're going to enjoy. So, um, <sighs> later, guys.